Hello everyone, Bill here from High Ground Tiles. Would like to show you the new design of the High Ground Tiles. Before we had a press-in fit and we've redesigned that to be a clip-in fit. It's a little bit better design and it holds the uh, game board together a little bit better. So let's show you what we have. So um, <clears throat> the new design includes a clip that's along the bottom of each of the tiles including the crown tiles. You'll see those right here. And those clips then go into a receiver into the tiles. So on a, on a base tile, you can continue to build up by snapping in the end and it, it grows up, right? Or, you know, you can build it upwards and go any direction you want, that type of thing. And so <clears throat> that's really the new design. The other new design to this is that um, we've rescaled them so they're now um, inch and three quarters flat to flat and so um, Before we had it a little bit larger uh, But we've gone back to a, a inch and three-quarter flat to flat measurement on our uh, tiles, which is great <clears throat> more it's a, more of a standard size and then um, the other thing that we've done is we've taken our crowns in the bat in the past they were only two millimeters in depth and we've gone to nine and three nine and a half millimeters to give us more uh, design opportunities with the two millimeter one is just too thin and this gives us a chance to do uh, some other interesting and and cool looking designs and so um, that's one of the other uh, changes that we've had and uh, so I think those are the primary ones We'll show you how this goes together. We know, I know that we had a lot of people asking questions about how these all go together, right? Um, when you look at the base tiles, when they come together, there's no you know, obvious uh, way of connecting those, and, or at least from viewing this, and this is where we had a lot of questions. But it, <clears throat> it's really like a Lego design where the whole concept is you just build up and you you um, you know span the gaps with your um, additional pieces and so here let me show you for example here we've got two we've got four uh, 16 hex pieces and if you take one of these uh, quads here and you stick it on here just clip it in and you'll see that holds everything together and so you know if you're building a, uh, a mountain range or something like that over here you know you can <clears throat> just keep building up and even if you want to go you know beyond that you want to go out here and you know keep building <clears throat> just build up and then that holds everything together and so that's the concept right anywhere there is a seam if you can span that seam with either uh, a base tile or crown tiles we have you know some crown tiles are, are going to be twos and fours and you'll just be able to put those right on like that and that will that will hold them together and so um, from there you'll just you'll put a, a finished touch on it and that's the, the decorative part or the details and so for example if you wanted to put a, a little road uh, onto your your design you can do that right and just start putting these tiles on here and like I said there will be different size ones so you can go a little bit further um, you know <clears throat> you know have longer uh, runs of these but anyways you can put a little run like that if you want to put some grass around it you simply do that as well and these are they just all snap together I'll throw uh, I'll throw a couple pieces on here so you can kind of get an idea of what that looks like And um, so, like other systems, you know, they um, they just go together, and then you can kind of make whatever you want. Um, you know, there's some there's some designs here for you there, and give you an idea of some of the things you can do. You know, and you'll have all kinds of different textures. We'll talk about the different ones that are available. These are simply our grass tiles and the stone road. Um, tiles and it give you an idea of those going together, but there's there's all different um, tiles that we'll be introducing. You can print in any color, so you can you know color code these. You can print them, you can paint them. They'll take paint, um, and so 
it's really the the sky's the limit as far as how you want to put these together but as far as the way that this thing goes together it's real simple anytime you want to expand to another to, to bigger pieces you just simply you know span the gap here and that as you'll see right it just holds it all together and just keep doing that if you want to keep expanding you know so <clears throat> just give you an idea of the things you can do this and you can see how big this can get pretty quickly especially if you're using the 16s and uh, anyway we'd be glad to answer any questions if you have any questions just uh, let us know we'll answer those as best we can and as quickly as we can I think it's gonna be easy to use and um, I think they look really good hopefully you guys will enjoy them all right well thank you very much